What's going on, guys? Welcome back. So today we're going to be going over this Reddit post. I will never get a cyber a job in cybersecurity. My goodness. And you can call me whatever you like, but I have had enough. There are no way to get a job these days. I have a master's degree, internships, certifications, hands-on experience, uh, competitions, and a perfect resume made by a professional. I still get rejected every time. It is extremely hard to get a job. Stop advertising cybersecurity is a great field because it attracts many people who end up shocked when they realize they cannot get a job for the same reasons. It should be illegal to post junior job posting while asking for mid or senior level skills. That is not fair. I am just frustrated. Sorry and thank you for listening. Oh my goodness. I would say one thing for sure is um, if you haven't done so and you're watching this video and you're coming across this you know, post and it's yours, uh, reach out to me um, through email, link in the description below, go on my website. I would love to see your resume. I would love to give you a hand and help you out and see what we can do together because that just doesn't make sense to me. You have hands-on experience. You have competitions. I don't know what competitions exactly. And a perfect resume made by a professional, uh, that's very debatable. Uh, perfect resume doesn't exist. Uh, good formatting, yes. But everyone, again, hiring managers, everyone has their own preferences and discretions on how a resume should look. But for the most part, it's pretty standardized, uh, something that would get some feedback. So we do have a, a few of these comments coming in. And it's, yeah, it's disheartening because a lot of people who have been let go, uh, this gentleman here, eight years experience in InfoSec blue team and red team, was laid off four months ago and still haven't gotten an offer. It's really, really shitty right now, RN. Uh, used to RN, I, I would think, registered nurse because I used to work in healthcare, but that's not the case here. It's right now. Uh, still better than software development wor <laughs> world right now. So everyone's chiming in on their own take on how shitty the market is, and it just makes total sense because the market is very shitty. Does that mean people are not getting jobs in cybersecurity? Not true. Does that mean people who have been getting jobs in cybersecurity have some level of experience? Unfortunately, yes. If you're starting out, probably very unlikely you're going to get a call back from anyone because I, for myself, have not even seen any entry-level jobs being posted on any platform. And if they are, they're already asking for like a few years experience, which doesn't make sense to me. If you have a few years experience, you're not a junior anymore. You're pretty much intermediate. You have experience. You're not that low level guy that you think you are or the organization thinks you are. Uh, apparently, organizations who feel like anyone who has less than five years experience is a junior guy, which is very shocking to me because you can literally earn your master's degree in four years, which... You know, like, how, how does that even work? Uh, do you get interviews or no interviews at all? Uh, that is very, very good question because I'm not going to dive into all the comments, but have you been getting any hits, right? If you got some hits and you're getting interviews and you're getting screened, maybe it's your delivery on how you're speaking, how you're delivering yourself, how you're selling yourself. Maybe that's the problem. I don't know. Um, or... You're sending out these resumes and you're saying you're not getting any interviews. That means you're not getting anything at all. Like not even a call from an HR recruiter and say, hey, your resume looks decent or looks great. And, you know, let's set up a call. And maybe I don't know where the drop off is. But again, you know, there, there are some challenges. This is 2026. Again, I said it in my previous videos. Yeah, you focused all on cybersecurity. You got your master's degree. You got all this great stuff. But a lot of people or organizations are looking for AI. Did you mention anything AI in your in your resume? You know, because a lot of these organizations are looking for cybersecurity slash AI or AI slash cybersecurity. It just goes hand in hand now. It's like it's not even a, 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 an option to do one or the other. It's like both now, right? If you're going to go into this whole cybersecurity world, you need to know AI. Like that's just the end uh, and they'll be all of it right now. And unfortunately, that's where we are. The challenge is how do you adjust to all that, right? Are you going to spend money, thousands of dollars for another program to inherit another 
degree or certification or you know completion of program uh, with another university or a boot camp no no way don't i mean like it's bad enough that you're looking for a job to make money it's worse that you're spending more money to potentially try to get a new job so i would say a lot of the resources are out there i could put another video to kind of bundle up a lot of the things that i've been going through I've been following up on audiobooks on AI. I've been watching tons and tons of YouTube uh, videos on AI because there's tons of more people out there who are more, uh, a lot smarter than me, for instance. <laughs> and I follow them and I watch them as well. Uh, trends, articles, uh, just to get into the mindset of what all this does and how we could benefit from it, right? I literally just got off a work call and, and they were talking about all this automation stuff and how we're going to capitalize on it and how we're going to utilize it for future uh, projects and, and work with it w with other uh, customers and uh, vendors and, and clients and things like that. And I'm like, oh yeah, this is this is where I want to be. This is what I need to know. This is how I'm going to progress. And this is why I need to stay on top of my game, uh, understanding that realm of AI now. Now, I'm not building out AI agents, although I would love to do that one day. Uh, I, but I'm just understanding the workflow, how it all works, all the different platforms that exist out there. And that's probably one of the key things that you would start to need to throw into your resume in order to get some... Uh, feedback is basically baiting, baiting, right? You're, you're putting keywords now. The keywords are AI, right? Uh, what platforms are you using? I know you got this perfect resume. Are Is it any vendors being mentioned? Are you using any type of EDRs, MDRs? Are you using any type of SIMs or all that information in your resume? That's why I said I would love to take an offer to see what this resume looks like. Uh, in your words, you're saying perfect. Uh, if it was perfect, you would be getting calls back. That's why I'm saying that. And uh, if you would like to take on my service, I'm not, not even charging you. I, I would love to just see your resume and work out something with you. So I want to thank you for being here. Please hit that like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again really soon. Take care.